This will be a tutorial in Photoshop on how to cut out an object with fine edges. In this example, we will be using a lion. You can expect the finished product to look like this. First, click the lasso tool and then click select and mask. Now, on the right, bring your transparency down to about 20%. This will make your image visible and able to work with. Next, on the left hand side of your screen, select the quick selection tool or type W. Click anywhere on your object that you would like to cut. Keep clicking around your object until it is fully selected. If at any time you want to change the size or hardness of the brush, simply right click on the screen to bring up the dialog. Now, a common problem like I had here is that I needed to cut out something within my object, which is the sky between the legs. To do this, simply hold down Alt to select the inverse quick selection tool and then simply click between the legs and it will select it as usual. Now that you're done with the quick selection of your object, look on the right hand side of the screen and drag the transparency bar to 100%. This will give you a preview of what the cut will look like. As you can see here, I've cut out too much of the lion's hair and I've left some areas on the tail. To fix this, I'll select the brush tool on the left or type B on my keyboard. With the brush tool selected, click anywhere on your image that needs to be brought back, as I'm doing with my hair. Hold Alt and click anywhere on the image that needs to be deleted, like I did with my tail. Now, type R on your keyboard to use the Refine Edge Brush tool. This is essentially an edge detection brush. Look as I simply click and drag around the edge of my line, the background will delete and the fur will remain. This is the final step in the process of cutting out your object. Drag your transparency all the way up to 100% once you're done to make sure it looks good. Mess around with the dialog box on the right to try to make this selection look a little bit better. In my case, the line looked alright, so I didn't change anything. Once you are satisfied with your selection, click Invert and then click OK. Then press the backspace key on your keyboard to delete the background. I hope you enjoyed this video as I enjoyed making it, and most importantly I hope it helped you out. If you have any questions, please ask them in the comment section below and I will respond as soon as possible. Also, if you have any suggestions, please comment them below as we would be happy to make any future videos of this nature. Thank you, and we'll see you next time.